Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are gonna make la zuppa di pane. Also, if you guys are new here and never seen my face before, hi, I'm Manuel, I'm the flat chef. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel down below to join me for more video recipes like this one. And also, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And now guys, let's get into the video. Burlocchi beans is savoy cabbage, cannellini beans, two fresh onions, two onions, green peas, stale bread, two celery stick, and one carrot. I take a casserole, pour the beans, one liter of water, and cook for an hour at low heat. Take two fresh spring onions and chop them in small pieces. Now take a blonde onion and chop it in a medium sized brunoise. Take the celery sticks, cut the celery stick across by the length and chop it in small pieces. Take one fresh carrot, cut the carrot across and chop it in very small pieces. Give it a good mix. Take a high frying pan, put some olive oil and add the sofrito into it. Cook the sofrito for 15 minutes until golden and crunchy. Take the cabbage, and cut it in big chunks. Before chopping the green beans, make sure to get rid of the top part and the bottom part. To speed up the cooking, you can cut the green beans in three parts rather than in two. Drain the canned cannellini beans, put them in a baker and blend them. The borlotti beans are ready. Now we have to do two steps at the same time. We have to drain the borlotti beans and pour the broth into the cannellini beans. Take a little, start adding the broth into the cannellini beans and transfer the borlotti beans into a container. This is how the sofrito should look like. Now that we have all the ingredients ready on the table, we can start pouring them into the sofrito. First one, the cabbage, potatoes, and the fresh peas. After 15 minutes, when the vegetables are softened, you can add the green beans and the beans broke. Bring again to boil and cook for about 20 minutes. As a very last step, add the borlotti beans, pinch of salt, and black pepper. Now it's time to layer the soup with the stale bread. Take a ladle of soup, put it on the bottom, take two slices of stale bread and keep layering with the soup on top of the bread. La zuppa di pane pronta. Couple of basil leaves. And that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure to smash a huge thumbs up just down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media at The Flat Chef and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!